What's up, YouTube? Today, we're looking at another Asabo slash Lacebo knife. This one in horn has been on the channel and is from Knives of France. This one I picked off of some rando on eBay. It is in, I believe, uh, not palm wood. I'm not sure what it, what it is. Olive wood. They're obviously the same knife, but with different cover handles. Um, you can see this one's been sharpened. This one still has factory edge, more or less. Uh, both of these are made of XC75, which is Europe's version of 1075 carbon steel. This means that it um, is usually made for things that uh, like saw blades would be a good example. Things that need to be sharp, but also need to be extremely tough. Some people don't like 1075. I'm not really sure why. It patinas, it holds an edge. Um, you're not going to chip it out unless you do something really crazy. And this pattern is really well done in my opinion. Um, the tip rests right there, so you'll never have a proud trip tip. You can literally sharpen all the way through it, and some people do. I like these for users. Steel holds up well, stays sharp, decently long for what I need it for. Maybe if you're doing something very strenuous, another knife would better suit, but there's not a lot you can't do with these guys. To put it in perspective, 1095 is, I think, about the same composition, but with uh, 1090, I mean, um, except that obviously this is 1075, and that's the carbon count that's a little bit lower in these compared to 1090. Super practical, super useful. Obviously, they don't have a half stop. And these are really neat little pieces. Glad to have them. The fit and finish on this one is especially good. Let's give it a close. Obviously there's a little gappage, but people always bring up that these lines aren't perfect, but they are also, I believe, are drop forged. As far as how sharp these are, you can shave with these right now. Um, compared to 1090, uh, it's just, you know, it's a little less edge retention, a little more toughness. Um, and if you're gonna do, you know, a lot of rough and tumble stuff, whether your pocket knife, nothing crazy, but like, if you're gonna actually use it, you might be surprised how well suited this is for that. I get that you do have to refresh the edge a little bit more than usual, uh, but I don't, I've never found it to be that big of a deal, and I'm pretty experienced with this kind of steel uh, because of the Duke Duke and other stuff that I do end up carrying pretty regularly. I know people on this channel give me a hard time for not using my GECs, all of them. I do have three in rotation, but uh, permanently in rotation. But it's just like, these are the kind of stuff that I'm using instead, simply because you can see where it kind of picked up a little patina if I take it off, uh, simply because they work so well. They're so simple, they're elegant. They're really, to me, a timeless design and it just makes sense to use them. But yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope to see you folks in future content. So hit the like and the subscribe. Feel free to comment. All right. See you folks later. Bye.